let's take a look at how to work with the images in Generations and control the image display or if the image remains in the design. I'm going to go ahead and just select a very basic piece of artwork and the program sees it as simple artwork because it's a very simple piece of clip art. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK and just insert it at the standard size and you can see everything's outlined and ready to go. So let's go ahead and generate. Now before I move on to the image, let me explain a couple of things. The yellow center on the flower here is yellow because it's matched to my thread catalog that I've selected. So I'm going to go ahead and change that color. So now it's green. And I've got this dashed outline in the background. That technically is an area that's not been created. And if I right click on that area, the white area in the image, you can see it's flashing. That indicates that if I generate, it's going to put stitches into the file. So let's hold control and then press your delete key with this selected with a right click and remove that permanently from the image. Now it looks like the image is gone, but if I look at this a little more closely in view outline, you can see the image is still there. It's just hidden in the background. I'm not able to you know, click on the image. If I left click, I'm actually clicking on the design attached to this image because we used automation. So to get rid of the image, I just have to press one button in this. Um, and that is to get rid of the image permanently. I just come down to my align toolbar and there's a group ungroup option here. I just ungroup the file. And you can see I left it in outline view, not stitch view, so you could see that the image has disappeared. Now what else has happened is that, you know, I can't click on this background anymore because the image is gone, but I can click on these individual pieces. And these are the pieces in my design. Let's go back into stitch view. So once you ungroup and the image is released from your automated design, you should come up here and left click and drag and press that left mouse button and hold it around your entire design to select all of those pieces and then come back and group the file together. Your image is not going to come back, but your design piece will now move as one design. See? Okay, now let's take a look at another way to handle images in the program. I'm going to go ahead and make a new file and go to create and insert the image into the file again or into a new file. And, you know, this time we're going to tell it that it's a template. When I insert as a template into the program, it is just a background image that I can manually punch over. I can use the magic wand and auto trace and use some automation as well, or I can do a combination. So let's go ahead and insert this in. And you can see the image comes in faded automatically. And that is because the program assumes that you want to you know, manually punch an image that's been inserted. Now, just because the image is faded doesn't mean that my tools aren't active. Like my, you know, magic wand will still see this color as one color section. The image is faded just to help with manually punching. If I want to make the image a little more intense or unfade the image, I press the plus key on my keyboard and the image will be unfaded on my screen. Now, if I want to fade the image, I press the minus key on my keyboard and I can fade the image to a very faint shadowed background. Now, whether it's faded or unfaded, my magic wand's going to work. And the way to you know, create an area with the magic wand is just to click on it. You can adjust the color if you need to, but I wanted to go ahead and show you how to get rid of the image here. So I'm going to create those three sections and that last little section and we'll change the color. Okay, so there is my design again and I've now used the semi-automation or I could have manually punched it. But let's take a look at what's going on with the image. If I go up to view outline again, my image is still there. The difference this time is that when I left click and I get the square around this, I'm not getting these design pieces. I'm just getting the image. And I can left click, 
pull that image away to make sure that nothing's attached to it in case you use some automation. And I can just press the delete key to remove the image from the design. And because we didn't use the automation, there is no white background this time. Only the pieces we selected have been created. So now I've removed my image. Now there is one more thing that you can do, and I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just delete or remove that delete of the image. Okay, if I really don't want to see the image, but I don't necessarily want to remove the image from the file, I can use another option in the program and just come up to your toolbar up here and hide the image. The image is still technically there. It's just hidden from my view. You'll see a square around it indicating that there's something there. And you can always unhide it as you need that. So those are several ways to control your images in the design file. So remember, if you've used the automation and your image is showing, everything is attached to that image. To remove it, you just simply come down to the ungroup option and ungroup that and what you will have will be just the pieces of your design. It's a good idea to left click and hold the mouse button down, drag around it and regroup the design pieces, knowing that, you know, they'll move as one design again, but the image will not come back. Now there is one more thing on an image that you can do. There are um, times when you put the image in and you're manually punching or you're using the automation and the image just, you know, you bump it and it moves. And you have to go back and you have to do the undo thing. So we'll go ahead and we'll, you know, create an area. Okay, so I've created an area and I accidentally left click on something and moved that out of the way. I'm always coming in back up to the undo. Now if I want to lock this image in place while I create my design, I go to edit and lock image. The design's still there, you know, I can still use the automation and create the design very quickly, but I won't be able to get to the design or the image behind the design, I guess, um, even though it's still there. You can see it's still there. The reason is that I've locked the image, so no big deal. Whether you're an outline view or stitch view, it makes no difference. Just go up to edit and remove the check mark next to lock image. So now I can left click on that image and I can press the delete key and get rid of it as well. I hope this has been helpful on controlling your images and how to work with the faded image settings.